it's April and I am planking in the conference room today and uh, I'm going to talk about how long do you really need to plank. So we'll get started. I'm going to start on hands and then I'm going to go to forearms. You can obviously start on forearms, go to hands, whatever works better for you. So starting off with fingers spread wide, pull your shoulder blades together, reach them down your back, then lift your upper back, lift your chest, pull in your belly, come up on your toes, shift your weight forward slightly, and then go through that again. Press into the floor, separate your shoulders a little bit more, pull in your belly, tuck your tailbone slightly and reach it toward your heels. And then press your heels back and tighten up your glutes. So you've got everything engaged, it's going on, you've got a great plank. And remember going through that twice also makes your time go a little bit faster. So now you are already up to 30 seconds. Woo so I was um, thinking today about how long do you really need to plank? I mean, it's great if you can work up to five minutes, but five minutes isn't a necessity. You're still going to get um, benefits from doing your plank. So I Googled it today and I found a good article and I'm pretty sure it was from uh, Harvard University. And this guy was talking about how he does a minute plank, but he does it several times a day. And so one of the things this article was encouraging was one minute was maybe you work up to a minute or two and do it frequently rather than just trying to go for five minutes like I do, <laughs> or maybe you do too. Um, but this was talking about how you don't have to go to five minutes to get benefits from plank. You can get benefits from going, working up to 30 seconds or maybe working up, like I said, to two minutes. You're still going to get the benefits in your core and strengthening your shoulders, 130, and working on every, well, the things you know about, uh, helping to prevent low back pain. And that was one of the big things it mentioned in that article was how one reason why you need to do plank is to work on your core and supporting your lower back. And because, you know, our core we take for granted and a lot of times that's what goes soft first, but it is really important to us. It's important for our balance and for, you know, just walking around and two minutes, oh, I'm gonna keep going. At 2.30, I'll switch to my forearms. <clears throat> And so one of the things it said was after two minutes, you didn't really, that was, it was really unnecessary that there wasn't any benefit from going holding longer than two minutes. And I, I'm just going to say, I beg to differ just a little bit because I just know the benefits I've seen from holding five minutes, doing it five days a week. And I have seen a lot of benefits from it and felt a lot of the benefits. It's not just what I see. Oh, 2.30. So I'm switching to my forearms. If you're switching, remember, every time you switch, come back to your good form. So I'm going to go back through everything again. Lifting my upper back, pulling in my belly, tightening up my glutes, making sure my spine is long. So I'm going to keep a neutral neck. So I'm not, I know I'm looking at the camera, which puts a little more stress on my neck. But if I'm not, I'm kind of just looking down just in front of my fingers or my knuckles, as the case may be, since I have my fingers interlaced. Three minutes, we are moving right along. So I would say though that having done a five minute every day for the past almost a year now, I do know I have such benefits and my core is so much stronger. My legs are firmer, my leg muscles, my lower back is really strong. I hardly ever have any problems with my lower back. I mean, rarely. Um, and it's just made my arms tone. It's just got had a lot of good stuff going on. 3.30, by the way. So again, if you could, you should be able to do at least 30 seconds. And that was one of the things it said in that article was that as a general rule, you should be able to do a 30 second plank and maybe work up to a minute or two minutes. So if you haven't tried doing one yet, if you've just been watching and not participating, just try it out. See how long you can hold it. Can you hold for 10 seconds? Four minutes, by the way. Can you hold for 15 or 20 or 30? And then if that's really difficult for you, keep doing it. And that's one of the things that said in that article. And I've said over and over again, the more you do it, the stronger you get and the easier it will seem because you're stronger and working on that ability to hold longer. Okay, I'm coming up on 425. 
almost to 430. And then we're in the, oh, 430, we're in the home stretch. So I'm going back over everything again, pressing into the floor, pulling in my belly, tightening up my glutes, pressing my heels back. We've got it going on, 20 more seconds. I know I can do it, because I've, I've held it this way for five minutes, but okay. So, but notice I'm also getting my heart rate up. This makes me a little bit out of breath, that's good. It's good to get some cardiovascular activity in while you're at the office. And that was the other thing this guy who wrote the article said, five minutes by the way, he said that he does his planks during his workday breaks. So, you know, you can just take, um, take a, a minute here and there during your, while you're at the office and start working on your planks. And 515, whew, okay. Anyway, so whether you are holding for 10 seconds or a minute or five minutes, whatever you're doing, it's all good. Just keep it up. Try to do it maybe more than once a day if you're not working up to more than two minutes yet, and you will see the benefits. See you tomorrow.